uwezo kuweza kuwafunza na kwa sababu watoto wako hapa ninabariki jamii zao ninabariki wazazi wao ninabariki wa vile wao i bless that god almighty out of these children ya kwamba mungu mkuu kutokana na watoto hawa their homes will be saved jamii zao zitakombolewa salvation shall come to their homes ukombozi utaja katika familia zao in jesus name katika jina la yesu let's clap for them as they go hallelujah hallelujah There's one there who could not go until and pate high five so I had to do it but moja ambaye hangeenda bila kunipa salamu Now today we are moving on to part 4 and then even neighbor part 4 sehemu ya nne mwambie jirani sehemu ya What is our theme this month? Je, mada ya mwezi huu ni ipi? What is our theme this month? Deeper kuzama ndani with God naye Mwenyezi Mungu Hallelujah Hallelujah Deeper kuzama ndani with God naye Mwenyezi Mungu And last Sunday we said something na juma pili iliyopita tulisema jambo. Let me see. Hapa ndo tunajuanga good students. Hallelujah. So we said something. As you go deeper with God, what happens? Tulisema tunapozidi kuzama ndani nini kinachofanyika? What comes to you? Nini kinachokukujia wewe? Maturity. Praise the Lord. Kukoma. What comes to you? Nini kinachokujia? Maturity. Kukoma. And we said maturity will come to you in four dimensions amen sema kukoma kwaja kwa kukuatika viwango vinne so that you begin to operate in a certain manner ili uanze kutembea kwa njia fulani so we said you pray kwa sababu tulisema unaomba but you don't just pray lakini sio kuomba tu you pray in truth unaomba kwa ukweli praise the lord you pray in truth with an upright kwa kweli kwa moyo ambao ni mnyoofu and what else kisha desiring god unamtamani mwenyezi Mungu and ask him for his mas na unaitisha rehema zake. What was the second one? La pili lilikuwa lipi? Yeah. The fear of kumcha God. Mwenyezi Mungu. And what did you say that this fear brings? Na tukasema kumcha huko kunaleta nini? What does it do? He will Kuna do what? Nini? Atafanya nini? He will fulfill atatimiza the desire mapenzi of your heart ya moyo wako. What else will he do? Kisha anafanya nini? He will hear your cry. Atasikia kilio chako. What else will he do? Atafanya nini kingine? He will save atao Oh. Praise the Lord. What was the third one? La tatu lilikuwa okay, lipi? Ang- so what was the third one? Nipewe jibu kutoka upande huu mwingine. The third one was what? Broken heart. Praise the Lord. Moyo ambao umekuchika. And then the fourth one? La nne. Intentional steps. Praise the Lord. Kwa hatua zenye kusudi ili kumtafuta. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. And uh, today siku ya leo I want us to go to the second perspective of getting deeper with God. Ningependa tuende mtazamo wa pili wa kuzama ndani naye Mwenyezi Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. So today we I want us to get to the second perspective Sike of leo getting deeper with God. Wa pili wa kuzama naye Mwenyezi Mungu. And that is perfection. Na ni pale kwa ukamilifu. Remember I told you that there are three dimensions maturity. Na kukanikiambia kwamba ni kukoma. Perfection, ukamilifu and spiritual completeness. Praise the Lord. Bwana utimilifu wa kiroho. Praise the Lord. Uh, so I, I will box Pastor somehow next Sunday she will teach us on spiritual completeness. Praise the Lord. Mapili ijayo mke wangu atatufundisha kuhusu So I will handle perfection. Utimilifu wa kiroho. Getting deeper with God. Praise the Lord. Kuzama ndani naye Mwenyezi Mungu. In short I want my 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 series to be, be finished. Kwa ufupi well. ningependelea mada yangu ikamalizike. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So as we get deeper with God tunapozidi kuzama ndani naye Mwenyezi Mungu. We get to a place mungu. of perfection. Tunafikia pahali pa ukamilifu. Praise the Lord. How many of us desire to go deeper with God? Wangapi wangependelea kuzama ndani naye Mwenyezi Mungu. And how many of us desire to be perfected in him? Wangapi wangependa kuwa wamekamilika ndani yake? Now now let's let's get, get to understand what is this As we go deeper with God, unapozidi kuzama naye Mwenyezi Mungu. He perfects our lives. Anakamilisha maisha yetu. I want us to read our, our key text. Tusome somo letu rasmi. And us to read our key text. Tusome somo letu rasmi. As we get deeper with God, tunapozidi kuzama ndani naye Mwenyezi Mungu, anatukamilisha katika maisha yetu. And I want us to go to our key text Deuteronomy chapter 7. Kumbukumbu la Torati la kwa 7 to 11. Praise the Lord. Wa sita, Hallelujah. Therefore for you are a holy people to the Lord your God the Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for himself a special treasure above all the people on the face of the earth the Lord did not set his love on you nor choose you because you are more in numbers than any other people for you are the least of all the people but because the Lord loves you and because he would keep the oath which he swore to your fathers the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt verse 9 This is our key text verse 
Therefore, know the Lord your God. He is God, faithful God, who keeps covenants and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandment. Let's look at verse 10. Stereo Kumi. Let's look at verse 10. And he repays those who will hate him with, to their face and to destroy them. He will not slack with, the, with him who hates him. He will repay him to his face. Verse 11, finally. Verse 11, finally. Praise the Lord. Therefore, you shall keep the commandment and the statutes and the judgments which I command you today to observe them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, I want us to read a few other texts. Just, I want us to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 18. We'll read verse 1 to 5 and then we'll jump to verse 30 and 32. Praise the Lord. Let's read together. I will do what? I will love you, O God, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The pang of death surrounded me, and the floods of ungodliness made me afraid. Verse 5, the sorrow of Sheol surrounded me, the snares of death confronted me. Let's look at verse 6. Then we'll jump to verse 30. In my distress, what did I do? In my distress, what did I do? And that Sunday I showed you how to call. Do you remember? Which is part of maturity. Praise the Lord. So, if you missed part 1, 2, and 3, please go back to the stream. Amen. Amen. Amina. We do a systematic teaching, so Tuna please mas, mas go back to the stream kululizo. to understand where we started from. This Nda is part four. So let's look together. Wapi. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my prayer, my voice, praise the Lord, from his temple, yangu. and my cry Na came before him even yake. to his ears. Hadi let's go to verse 30. Hallelujah. Let's read this. As for God, His way is what? Hello? Hello? So we are learning about the knowing God in a deeper manner. We talked about it brings maturity. But now even kukoma. as you go deeper with God, it brings perfection. And God Himself is perfect. He says, as for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. Verse 31. So who is God? Except Hallelujah. And who is a rock? Except Let's look at verse 32. It is God who does what? Who arms me with what? And does what? Anafanya nini? Hello? Because today I want to speak some things on perfection. How many are saying they want, they want to be perfect like God? As you go deeper with Him. Okay. As for God, His way is what? So you can only be made perfect by the one who is what? Na yule you can only be made perfect by the one who is perfect. So he says, as for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. And verse 31, verse 31, for God, for who is God except the Lord, who is a rock except our God. Verse 32, I love this one, hallelujah. It is God who does what? Who arms me, with what? And makes me, and makes my way so hear me carefully as you go deeper with God you become like him 
unafanyika kuwa kama yeye. He's a perfect God. Yeye ni Mungu mkamilifu. He makes your way perfect. Anafanya njia yako ikakamilika. He makes your way perfect. Anafanya njia zako zikamilika. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So I want to define for us perfection. Ningependa kutufafanulia neno la ukamilifu. Praise the Lord. Are you ready for it? I mean I say they want to be perfect in the Lord as you get to know him. Ningependa kuwa kamilifu. Now perfection ukamilifu as we get deeper to know him is kumjua, the ability ni uwezo is the ability ni uwezo to know who God is wakutambua Mungu ni nani okay comma it is, it is the ability ni uwezo to know who God is wakumtambua Mwenyezi Mungu ni nani utakoma tilia kikomo to have the moral courage kuwa na ujasiri to have the moral courage kuwa na ujasiri to emulate him wa kumfuata to have the moral courage kuwa na ujasiri to emulate him wa kufuata njia zake and to strive na pia kujaribu for personal integrity ili uweze kukuwa na unyofu wa kiubinafsi by following his ways kwa kufuata njia zake praise the lord bwana asifiwe i mean as they they want to be perfect in the lord ngapi wanasema wangependa ukamilifu ndani ya Mwenyezi Mungu so perfection ukamilifu as we get to know god deeper tunapozidi kujua Mungu as you know him deeper he perfects you tunapomjua zaidi anakufanya uwe mkamilifu so it is the ability lakini pia ni uwezo to know who god is wa kujua Mungu ni nani hello hello You can't be perfect if you don't Wezi know who he is. Kamilifu kama umjui so there is the ability to know to know who God is. Wa kujua Mungu ni nani. And then to have the moral courage. Kisha kuwa na nguvu ujasiri wa kiumaadili. To emulate him. Ili kuweza kufuata njia zake. Actually, another word there. To have the moral courage. Ongeza jina lingine pale. To emulate his admirable character. Kuwa na maadili ya ujasiri ili kufuata njia zake ambazo zinapendeza. So, to have the moral courage kukuwa na ujasiri wa kimaadili praise the lord to do what to emulate wa kufuata his admirable character tabia zake ambazo zinapendeza and finally na hatimaye to strive kungangana to achieve personal integrity ili kuweza kuwafikia unyofu wa kibinafsi by following his ways kwa kufuata njia zake praise the lord bwana asifiwe praise the lord bwana asifiwe haleluya I mean I saying now they want perfection. Ngapi ngali wanasema wanapataka ukamilifu. So let's speak a few things from there. Tuchukue mambo kadhaa kutoka mali. So for you to be perfected you must ili ukakamilike lazima. Have the ability to do what? Uwe na uwezo wa kufanya nini? To know who God? Kumjua Mwenyezi Mungu. That's your starting point. To know who God is. Ndio mwanzo wako. Praise the Lord. Then you must have what? Pili unapaswa kuwa na The moral courage. Uwe na uchu. To emulate ya kuweza kufuata. Is admirable. Tabia zake ambazo zinapendeza. And you have known his character now you, are, you want to emulate zake, him na bado unataka kuzifuata and then you strive kisha unangangana for what kwa nini personal integrity ili uwe na unyofu by following his ways or walking in his ways kufuata njia zake au kutembea kwa njia zake praise the lord bwana asifiwe hallelujah 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 now we have seen so i want us to start with the first bit of knowing who god is tuanze na sehemu ya kwanza ya kujua mungu ni nani praise the lord because that is part of perfection kwa sababu hiyo bado ni sehemu ya for you to know who god is wako wa kujua mungu ni nani praise the lord and then to know his to emulate his admirable character kisha kuweza kuzifuata tabia zinazopendeza and then to strive to have personal integrity by walking in his ways kisha kungangania maadili kwa kutembea kwa njia zake so who who is god ni nani ambaye ni mungu who is god nani aliye mungu hallelujah Because you can only be perfected when you know him. Kwa sababu unaweza kukamilika tu unapomjua. Let me ask you if your friend is a, is a thief, who are you likely to become? Mwizi, wewe utafanyika kuwa nini? If your friend is a thief, kama rafiki yako ni mwizi. Your close friend is a thief. What are you likely to become? Karibu ni mwizi, utafanyika kuwa nini? Why? Because you are getting perfected in their nature. You get that? Kwa sababu unazidi kukamilika kwa tabia zake. If your friend is a cook, zake, kama rafiki yako. They know how to cook very well. Mpishi, na najua kupika vyema. And you spend vyema. more time with your friend. Na unatumia muda mwingi karibu like na rafiki yako utafanyika kuwa nini? A good. Mpishi. If your friend is lazy. Kama rafiki yako ni goi goi mzee. So who are you likely to become? Je, utafanyika kuwa nani? 
Ndio hebu sema ni mzembe vizuri ni uzembe. Mzembe. So, kama uko na rafiki na wewe kama rafiki yako ni mzembe. What are you like to become? Now here that's what I'm saying you need to know who God is. Because you can only be perfect kwa sababu utaweza kukamilika ujue kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu ni mkamilifu. So until you know who is this perfect God hadi utakapojua kwamba Mungu ni nani. That is when he can make your way what? Hapo ndipo atafanya njia zako ziwe kamilifu. And this comes as you get to know God na hapa tunapozidi kumjua Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ndani zaidi ndani na ndani zaidi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now who is God? Mungu ni nani? Let's go to uh, verse 2 of chapter chapter 18. Mstari wa pili kitabu cha Zaburi 18. Who is God? Mungu ni nani? Let's read. The Lord is my rock. Let's hold there. The Lord is Because you can only be perfected in the nature of the rock. Unaweza kukamilika you know who, who is here as a rock. Jiwe, unapojua jiwe. When the Lord is your rock wakati Mungu ni jiwe lako. This word lako. comes from a Hebrew word neno sela. La, neno hili linatoka katika neno la Kiebrania ambalo ni sela. And that means that the Lord is your foundation. Ambaye inamaanisha kwamba Mungu ni msingi wako. If you want to have a strong foundation of your family. Kama unataka kuwa na msingi dhabiti katika ushirika. A strong foundation in your ministry. Msingi dhabiti katika huduma yako. A strong foundation in your business. Msingi dhabiti katika biashara. You need to know the Lord as who? Unapaswa kumjua Mwenyezi Mungu kama nani kama jiwe. I know some of us just know another guy called the rock. Najua wengine wetu tunamjua mtu mwingine ambaye anaitwa Jiwe. Muko. Aya musiogope ni wetu kama mnamjua. Sasa huyo sio rock. The Lord is the rock. Bwana ndiye Jiwe. Praise the Lord. He is a true rock. Bwana ndiye Jiwe. Sela which means is the foundation. Ambaye anakuwa msingi. Praise the Lord. So you must know him as the foundation of everything in your life. Lazima umjue kama msingi wa kila kitu katika maisha yako. Do you need a happy home? Unahitaji jamii ambayo ina furaha. The rock. Mwamba. The foundation. Msingi. Do you need peace in your life? Unahitaji amani katika maisha yako. The rock. Bwana. Is the foundation of that peace. Ndiye msingi wa amani hiyo. Praise the Lord. So anytime you say uh, there's a song we should sing Rock of Ages. Clear for me remember that song. Kuna wimbo ambao tunaimba Mwamba imara. There's another one we should sing many years. I know these guys might not know it. Najua wengine hapa hawezi kwa kijoo wimbo huo. There's another song we should sing many years back. Kuna wimbo ambao tumekuwa tukiimba miaka nyingi iliyopita. It was a fast beat. Ilikuwa wimbo wa haraka. Oh, this is a rock. There's a song we should sing. I will remember it as we move on. Itakumbuka wimbo huu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is a powerful it should be a powerful song those many years. Kuna wimbo ambao ulikuwa wa nguvu mno miaka hiyo nyingi iliyopita. Who is God to you? Mungu ni naye ni kwako. Is what? Mungu ni mwamba. And that means is your what? Basi kumaanisha kwamba yeye ni naye kwako. Yeye ni msingi wako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if your foundation is Kalumanzira, wewe umeisha. Kama msingi wako. If your foundation ni ni ni, ni ukora, wewe umeisha. Praise the Lord. If your foundation ni kutafuta binadamu wewe umei Who is the rock? Jiwe ni nani? The Lord. Bwana. Foundation msingi. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiri. Then we are told Kisha he is the fortress. Kwamba yeye ndiye ngome. Let's go back to that chapter. He is the fortress. So we are knowing who is God because for you to go people with God and to achieve perfection you need to have the ability to know who God is so he is the the Mungu ni nani Mungu ni ngome Now the Lord as a fortress Mungu kama ngome is your ma- your mountain stronghold Yeye ni mlima wako ambao ni imara Hey He is your mountain stronghold Ni mlima wako ambao ni imara He is the place Yeye ndiye mahali and safety pa nguvu na usalama He is a place of strength Yeye and safety pa nguvu na usalama Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. And as look at Psalms 71 verse 3. Zaburi 71 verse 3. We'll come back here. Mstari wa 3. Psalms 71 verse 3. Zaburi 71 mstari wa 3. Be strong, my be my strong refuge to which I may sort continually. You have given the commandments to save me. For your what? Look at this. Are you seeing? Your what? You are telling God you are my rock you are my foundation. Unamwambia Mungu wewe ni mwamba wangu wewe ni msingi wangu. You are my fortress you are what? Kisha you are my mountain stronghold. You are the place. Kisha wewe ni mwali mwamba wangu. You are the place of what? Of my strength and my safety. Na pa usalama. 
Hello? Hello? Unaloi maneno? Some of us, we go to the God and say, Oh God, my Lord. When you don't have the understanding, you say, Oh God, my foundation. Unapopata kuelewa kwamba ni mungu. Oh God, my fortress, my place of strength and safety, my mountain stronghold. Do you know that families have strongholds? Some years back, I think it was in last year, I taught about strongholds. But I think I taught it online. Mwaka uliopita nilifundisha kuhusu ngome na nilifundisha kwenye tovuti. Ifi cheka online stream idea whole series. kwenye mafunzo yetu nilifanya mfululizo mzima wa mafunzo haya. I did like four series on strongholds. Nilifanya masomo manne. Now you're saying the Lord is your mountain stronghold. Kusema kwamba Bwana ni mlima imara mahali pako pa nguvu na usalama. Hello? For you are my rock and my fortress. Mwamba wangu na ngome. Psalm 31 verse 3. Zaburi 31 verse 3. Psalm 31 verse 3. Zaburi 31 moja mstari wa 3 says, anasema you are wewe ni but let me ask you do you think king david alikuwa mjinga akiambia mungu hii he knew what it means that's why sometimes we miss our perfection in him because we don't know who he is tunakosea kufikia ukamilifu wetu kwa sababu hatumjui yeye ni nani Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now uh, some of us we sing the song rock of ages claim for me the Lord is my rock and my salvation But you know, you know what? Let me tell you. Lakini naomba niwaambieni. When you know who God is, you begin to be perfected in his ways. Unaanza kukamilika kwa njia zake. He says, you are my rock. Anasema, and my fortress. Therefore, Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Yeah, kunaomba uniongoze. Praise the Lord. Now let's go back to our, 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 our uh, Psalms 18 verse 2. To reject up to Zaburi 18. So you're saying the Lord is your rock. Tunasema Mungu ndiye mwamba na msingi. The Lord is your fortress. Yeye ndiye ngome. Is your place of strength and safety. Yeye ndiye mahali pako pa nguvu na usalama. Is your mountain stronghold. Yeye ndiye mlima wako ulio imara. Now you're saying the Lord is my deliverer. Tunasema Bwana ndiye mkombozi wangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mtu akiku deliver what happens? And I'm I'm okay. Niko kupo kuponyoka. Oh, go, 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 go. Praise the Lord. Now when you say the Lord is your deliverer, He's the one who causes you to escape. Ndiye anayekufanya ukatoroke. Hello? Hello. He delivers you from every danger. Anakukomboa kutokana na hatari ya He delivers you from every schemes of darkness. Anakukomboa kutokana na mipango ya giza. Praise the Lord. So when the Lord is your deliverer, unaposema Bwana ndiye mkombozi wako. He's the one who causes you to escape. Ndiye anayekusababisha ukatoroke. Let's look at Psalms 40 verse 17. Kitabu cha Zaburi 40:17. But I am poor and needy. Yet the Lord thinks me, thinks upon me. You are what? You are my help and my deliverer. Do not do what? Imagine if, imagine if God delays to deliver you. Imagine. Accident inaenda kufanyika. Alafu Mungu achelewe tu na 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 one second. Utakuwa umeishi. So when the Lord is your deliverer, wakati Mungu ndiye mkombozi wako. He enables you to escape. Anakuwezesha kuponyoka. That's why you can be perfected and then you know him as a what? Ndipo sasa unaweza kukamilika hadi utakapomuelewa kama mkombozi. He helps you to escape. Anakusaidia kutoroka. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Let's look at Psalms 70 verse 5. Zaburi 70 mstari wa 5. Psalm 70 verse 5. Zaburi 70 mstari wa 5. And it says what? Anasema 70 verse 5. But I am poor and needy. Make haste to me, O God. You are my help, my deliverer. O God, do not In short, if the Lord is your deliverer, akuna, ah, he will not be late. Some of us we think that God is late. God can't be late. He is the deliverer. He knows the right time to come and help you to escape. Hello. Some of us we want him to come before. He, know, he has to wait until he figure the timing. So that you can see his mighty hand upon you. Ili alete mkono wake juu yako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So as you get perfected, unapozidi kukamilika, you know God who God is as a deliverer. Unajua Mungu ni nani kama. He helps you to escape. Anakuwezesha kuponyoka. Then we are told now, now let's go back to verse 2. Now remember this, when the Lord delivers you, he, he only anakukomboa. delivers those who trust him. Anakomboa wanaomtegemea. Yeah, be careful. 
he will, he will do it. He'll deliver those who do what? Anawakomboa. Those who trust him. Wale ambao wanamtegemea. So the Lord is my what? Kwa sababu Mungu ndiye mkombozi wangu. Then he wangu. says he is my God. Kisha anasema ndiye Mungu wangu. Hello? Hello. Are you seeing the Lord? Je, mwaona Bwana? The Lord the rock. Bwana ni mwamba. The Lord the fortress. Bwana ni ngome. The Lord the deliverer. Bwana mkombozi. Hello? Hello. So as you get perfected, unapozidi kukamilika. You see God as unazidi kumuona Mungu kama rock foundation, kama mwamba msingi. Fortress, a place of strength and safety. Mahali pa nguvu. Or a mountain stronghold. Usalama ukimwona. Deliverer, the one who has to escape. Bila ambaye mkombozi anayesaidia kutoka. Naye bado ni Mungu. Praise the Lord. So when you see him as God, unapomuona kama Mungu. This comes from the word El. Hili linatokana na jina El. It means the almighty. Ambalo linamaanisha mwenye nguvu. It means the strong one. Yule ambaye ana nguvu. Is the Lord. And El means that El God inamanisha. is the God who is omnipotent. Ya kwamba yeye ndiye Mungu mwenye uwezo wote. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. anytime you hear God, kila wakati unaposikia kwamba wakisema The Almighty. Mwenye nguvu. Hallelujah. Zote. The strong one. Ambaye ako na uwezo mkuu. El, God who is omnipotent. Yeye ambaye ako na nguvu zote. The God who knows all. Please read that one. Mungu anayejua mambo yote. Is the God who knows all. He knows Mungu all. Mungu anayejua mambo yote. He sees all. Anayaona yote. And he performs all things for his people. Na anayafanya mambo yote kwa ajili ya watu wake. Hello? Hello? Hello. Anytime you hear the name God. Wakati wote unaposikia jina Mungu. He is what? Yeye ni. He is El. Yeye ni El. The mighty one. Mwenye nguvu zote. The strong one. Mwenye uwezo. The God who is omnipotent. Mungu ambaye ako na nguvu zote. What does he do? He knows all things. Anayejua mambo yote. He sees all things. Mambo yote. And he does what? Na pia, he performs all things kila jambo. for his people. Kwa ajili ya watu wake. Question is, are you his people? Swali ni, je, wewe ni mmoja wapo ya watu wake? Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Say, don't just take God lightly. Usimchukulie Mungu kwa wepesi. When you sing a song, oh Lord my God, God. You are saying and when you say God, when you say oh Lord my God or God, you are saying Unaposema ewe Bwana Mungu wangu likumaanisha wewe mwenye nguvu zote wewe ambaye una uwezo wewe mwenye nguvu zote yote the God who knows all the Lord who performs all for yote. his people kwa ajili ya watu wake Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Are you saying why we should not be stuck? We should Je, maona kwa nini You can only be perfected when you know him. Kwa sababu unaweza tu kukamilika unapomjua yeye. Hello? Hello. Ukisema oh God. Eh hey, Bwana. You should start seeing what I'm saying. Unapaswa kwanza kuona kile ambacho ninachosema. L. Unamuona bo- Mungu. E L. 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 You are seeing L. Strong one. Nguvu, mwenye nguvu. The all mighty mwenye nguvu zote the omnipotent mwenye uwezo mkuu the one who does what knows all anajua mambo yote sees all anaona kila jambo performs all things anatenda kila jambo kwa ajili ya watu wake sasa ni nini unaelekea kusumbua kwa maisha please the lord anasema i know sasa wewe unasumbuka oh mungu sasa mungu utakuja wakati gani he says Let's call him. Anasema, God. Muite Mungu. Come. Njo. My God. Mungu wangu. Call him who? My God. Mungu you are telling him you know all things happening in my life. You see all things happening in my life. And you are able to, to perform all things in my life. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Maandiko yanasema kwamba utajua ukweli. And the truth will do what? Na ukweli utafanya nini? Will make you free. Utakufanya uwe huru. Hallelujah. Let's like this important ni muhimu kwamba utaelewa neno la Mwenyezi Mungu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Mungu sio tu mtu duni. When you sit down, that's what I'm saying, as you go deeper with God. Unapozidi kuzama ndani naye Mwenyezi Mungu. You're not going to any man. Au muendei tu mtu yeyote. Who is limited? Ambaye ako na upungufu. Is El. Ndiye Bwana. God. Mungu. 
he sees all things anaona kila jambo knows all things anajua mambo yote he performs all things anatenda mambo yote what do you think what do you want to know je ni nini hilo ambalo unataka call his name my Peter god jina lake lite jina lake mungu wangu but let me say something Today I want you to practice this when you go into prayer. Sikio leo ningependa uende kutilia maneno. Oh Lord my God. Ingia kwa maombi umwambie Bwana. El is your name. El ni jina. You are the strong one oh God. You are the almighty God. You are the God who knows all things. You are the God who sees all things. You are the God who performs all things. Behold I come before you. My rock my foundation. Hallelujah my fortress. You are the place of my safety the place of my strength you are my mountain stronghold oh my deliverer Jehovah you help me to escape from every fear that of the enemy are you seeing that prayer je maona ombi hilo are you seeing that prayer je maona ombi hilo hello are you seeing that prayer una that day your prayer sister that atakuja hapo can the devil come he can't the devil can't survive in that kind of a prayer because you have come into a place of knowing who he is hello 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 that's why when you come into his presence what, what is wake, sickness ugonjwa ni nini it is it is just an, an, an iota hili ni jambo ambalo ni ndogo mno because you are dealing with kwa sababu god uko naye mungu and i want to encourage you na naomba kuwafikia moyo kwa sababu ninawafunza neno You need to practice. Lazima mjue kulifanyisha kazi. Remember where where we began? Je, mnajua pale ambapo tulianzia? Tulisema vipi? I don't, I don't want to go there. Go, go back to part 1. Inaenda uka ukatizame. There's a application of pale ambapo tunasema kwamba ufanyishe kazi ukweli. Kuna ufunuo wa ukweli. And the word, remember? Kuna kuelewa neno lake mwakumbuka. Revision of the kisha ufunuo wa ukweli kisha application now here. Ufanyisha kazi. Apply this. Hapa inaenda ukafanyishe kazi neno hili. Tafadhali if you miss part 1 if you miss part 2 kama uko na sehemu ya kwanza uko na sehemu ya pili naomba ukaenda kuitizama Hallelujah Hallelujah Let's go back to our Psalms Turejeleza buri yetu Then what is God again Kisha Mungu ni nani My strength Yeye ni nguvu yangu Hey The Lord my strength Bwana nguvu yangu This comes from a Hebrew word Hili linatokana na neno la Kiebrania T S U R sur sur T S U R and the lord as your strength it means nae bwana kama nguvu he is your source nikumaanisha yeye ndiye chanzo he is your origin yeye ndiye mwanzo he is your firmness yeye ndiye udhabiti wako he is your fountain yeye ndiye chemi chemi yani rock foundation jiwe msingi now the lord my strength Mungu you are my yangu. fountain. Wewe ndiye chemi. You are my firmness. Wewe ndiye udhabiti. You are my origin. Wewe ndiye chanzo. You are my source. Wewe ndiye mwanzo. Alafu mtu alafu mtu mtu anakushtua. Ati wewe kwenye kuna mtu ambaye anajulikana. Mwambie the Lord my strength. Bwana nguvu yangu. He is my origin. Ana yeye ndiye chanzo changu. He is my source. Yeye ndiye mwanzo wangu. He is my fountain. Yeye ndiye chemi chemi yangu. Where you drink from? Unpale unapokunywa. Hello? Hello. That's why is your strength. Diposa yeye ndiye nguvu yako. You can't die. Hawezi kuaga dunia. He is your fountain. Yeye ndiye. You keep che, drinking che, from the fountain. Chemi yako unakuja ukikunywa kutoka kwenye chemi. He is your firmness. Yeye ndiye udhabiti. Farm, farm. F I R M N E S S. Udhabiti wako. Praise the Lord. Is your firmness. Yeye ndiye udhabiti wako. So ukisema the Lord my strength. Ukisema Bwana nguvu yangu. Let no one tell you that you come from a poor family. Let no one tell you that you come from a a nobody's family. When you say the Lord is my strength. Bwana ndiye nguvu yangu. You are my origin. Wewe ndiye mzo wangu. You are my source. Wewe ndiye chanzo changu. Even before I was born. In my mother's womb. You knew me. You made me up. Do I am a stammerer. Sasa ingawa I may not be studied. No, I may have not everything. But you are my origin. You are my source. You are my firmness. You are my fountain. Hello. Hello. What was she going to Because I want this church to be a church of people. Naomba kanisa hili likawe kanisa la watu. Who pray in perfection. Ambao wanaomba kwa ukamilifu. Hello. 
Hello. When you come in God's presence, you don't care what is happening in your life. You don't care. Kwa 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 Unasema hiyo mambo ikae. I am coming before the one who knows, the one who sees, the one who performs all things. God, El, and I come before the one who is my strength, who is my fountain, where I drink from, I cannot get tired, I cannot get weak. I am coming to the one who is my source, the one who is my origin. It does not matter where I come from. He is my family. Praise the Lord. People of God, may the word of God open your eyes today. See him different. Hello? Hello. See him different. Let me tell you, a time is coming. You will be coming into church. But because you have the knowledge of who God is, the man of God does not need to lay hands on you. The moment you enter into his sanctuary, you just say, Oh my God, healing is done. Oh my strength, restoration is done. That is the kind of people that God is raising. Praise the Lord. That's why the word must liberate you. He says, Anasema, Now remember this. Kumbuka hili, for the Lord to be your rock, ili mungu wakawe wako, your fortress, gome yako, your deliverer, kombozi wako, your God and mungu strength, wako na nguvu yako, you must trust Him. Lazima There's a condition there. You must do what? Lazima ufanye nini. You must do what? Lazima ufanye nini. There are people who struggle with trusting. Kuna tuko. watu ambao wanasumbuka tuko, na kuamini watu. Tuko. Tuko mahali hapa. Hata tu mtu akamwambia nimeenda hapa hivi. <laughs> Una like. Ati <laughs> basi umeenda hapa hivi. <laughs> hapa hivi. Bwana anataka tuangalie umeenda wapi hapo. Now let me tell you. If no God is to be your rock, kama Mungu ni jiwe lako. Your fortress, gome yako. Your deliverer, kombozi wako. Your God El. Mungu wako El. Your strength, nguvu zako. You must Lazima ukamtegeme Hello Hapa usemi ya ifanyiki You know that only one person can do it Unajua kwa ni mtu moja na eweza kufanya Mungu Praise the Lord Wana sifiwe Kuna gina bata Muna kuja kwa mbia ni aje juo Nisaidie na What is ngo 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 vo Yuni pesa ngapi Ndo hiyo hapa mena Yuni pesa ngapi ya ngo vo 20. There are people that you can't even trust them with Ngovo. Ngovo is what? Aya. Ngovo ya mesema yake. There are people you can't trust with what? Kuna watu ambao hawezi kuamini na shirika. Ati nitakurudishia. Wewe unajua hiyo ulipatiana yeme ime? Now when you're dealing with God Napokuwa na Usiseme hiyo imeenda. Na Mwenyezi Mungu. Haikunywi maji na Mungu. Na Mungu. Haikunywi maji. He is God. Yeye ni Mungu. You trust him. Unamwamini. Hear me carefully. No you trust him. Unamwamini. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. But then let me tell you today I am packed because Siku ya leo nimejawa. When I was in the spirit. Kwa sababu nilipokuwa katika ulimwengu wa kiroho. Giving me the revelations. Eh Bwana alikuwa akinipa ufufu. I said the church must be empowered. Nikasema kanisa lazima likatiwe nguvu. Mwambie jirani. Put on your gear. Mwambie neighbor neighbor neighbor. Mwambie jirani. Put on your gear. Tarisha. Mwambie neighbor neighbor. Hii ni 20 20% of perfection. Hii ni sehemu asilimia. Bado bado 80. Bado asilimia 80. Praise the Lord. Now, he says my shield. Anasema ngao yangu. Now, there's a word. If you read this from the Kuna neno ambalo ukilisoma katika tafsiri la King James. Zawadi are you they have used there? Kuna neno ambalo wamelitumia mahali pale. They say my buckler. Anasema yeye ndiye mshipi wangu. Ebweka King James version. Ah, ndio hiyo. He says what? My what? The Lord, my buckler. 
Praise the Lord. Now, the Lord as your buckler. Mungu akiwa ndiye mshipi wako. He is your defender. Ye ndiye anayekulinda. Hello? Wangapi wamecheza mpira? Mpira. Timu njonga alikuwa kwanga na defender. Kazi yake ni kufanya nini? Kufanya nini? Mungu anasema, I am your what? Mungu anasema, You are defender. Ndiye mlinzi wako. Kazama kazi kazama kana 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 kuja kana sema wewe ni aje jo, wewe ni aje jo. Hey, 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 hey. Then the Lord comes, defender. <laughs> Ati katabu kana kuja kwa maisha yako. Katabu kana kuja, kana kushtua. Unasikia tu, hey, hey, Mungu, hey. Then the Lord comes, my buckler. My buckler. Gao. When you are praying, the Lord my buckler. Mungu ambaye ni ngao. My shield. Gao. My defender. Linzi wangu. Hallelujah. He defends you. Anakulinda. Yaani hiyo siku bibi amekupangia leo lazima ni kuonyesha wewe mimi ndio mwenyewe ndio mwanamke. Wewe unaingia tu hivi. The Lord my buckler. Alikuwa amepanga kukulele tabu na alafu mzee wangu habari ya leo. Oh my mzee. That's what the enemy does. And I will bang you. The Lord comes as a what? A buckler. Ana kuja kama ngao. A shield. Mlinzi. A defender. Mlinzi. Actually hear me carefully. The Lord will cover your head. Mungu atalinda kichwa chako. And your heart. Na moyo wako. So that it will not be wounded. Ili usije kupata majeraha. By the darts of the enemy. Na mipango ya adui. Buckler. Kizuizi. He will cover what? and your heart atalinda kichwa chako it will not be destroyed na hautaweza kupata by the darts of the enemy na mipango ya adui hello nawe sasa tembea kama mwanamke tembea kama lady acha na uoga tembea na kama una pesa kwa mfuko tembea hello because you are walking with the buckler kwa sababu unatembea na kizuizi unaingia kwa gari hauna fare Unasema the Lord my buckler. Unasema Bwana ambaye ni kizuizi changu. I I know you. You have been singing for us in the worship team. I see you in online. Oh, can I pray for you? Can I pay your fare? You unasema the Lord my buckler. The Lord my buckler. The Lord my buckler. Mungu, the Lord kizuizi, my buckler. Changu. Mungu kizuizi changu. Hello. Hello. That is God. Huyo ndiye Mungu. He will defend you from shame. Atakulinda kutokana na aibu. Hello? Aya, amenema nema nema nema. Mwambie jirani. Hakuna aibu kwangu. Jirani. Hakuna aibu kwangu. Mwambie nema nema nema. Jirani. No shame in my life. Hakuna aibu katika maisha yangu. Ati wanakungoje waone tu unaona ati ati unaenda kuretire au hujajenga nyumbani. Mwambie the Lord is my buckler. Bwana ndiye kizuizi changu. Wanakupangia naye Mungu amekupangia. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. You, you need to go deeper with God. kwa nini mwapaswa kuzama zaidi naye Mwenyezi Mungu. You know, Today when I was Mungu siku leo nilipokuwa nikitarishia ibada ya leo. And the Lord started putting in me. Naye Bwana akaanza kuweka ndani yangu. The nuggets. Visehemu. Was like this one. Nikasema, the people must kili, go deeper with God. Lazima watu waingie ndani zaidi naye Mwenyezi Mungu. He covers your head. Analinda kichwa chako. He covers your heart. Analinda moyo wako. So there is no distraction of the enemy. Hakuna uharibifu wa adui. That can come against your life. Ambao unaweza kukuja kinyume na maisha yako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Now the Lord. Bwana. Is the horn of salvation. Ndiye pembe ya uokovu wako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The horn of salvation. Pembe. Let us read wako. second Samuel 22:3. Tusome kitabu cha Samueli wa pili. Second Samuel. Samueli wa pili. 22 verse 3. Mlango wa 22 mstari wa 3. Let's look at this. The God of my salvation. Mungu wa wokovu wangu. The God of my strength. Mungu wa nguvu zangu. In whom I will trust. Ambaye nitamwamini. My what? Yeye ni nani? Asa waacha kusema shield. My buckler. Yeye ndiye kizuizi changu. The horn. Yeye ndiye pembe. Ya wako. Kabona hii stronghold. What was stronghold? Je, ngome ilikuwa ni nini? The eh, ai watu wa Mungu. Stronghold. Fortress. This the mountain stronghold. My refuge. My savior. You save me from what? 
So God is the horn of your salvation. Now a horn is a symbol of power. Ni ishara ya nguvu. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. It's a symbol of power. Ni ishara ya nguvu. And here, na hapa, you will move in the power of your salvation. Utatembea kwa nguvu za wokovu wako. Hello. Hello. Wewe umeokoka? Kuna nguvu ya wokovu ndani ya Yesu. Hello. Hello. Kuna nguvu ya wokovu ndani ya Yesu. Praise the Lord. The horn of my salvation. Pembe la wokovu wangu. You carry the power of my salvation. Unabeba nguvu za wokovu. Wewe kama umeokoka usitembee kama mtu ambaye hajaokoka. Wewe umeokoka. Walk with that power. Tembea kwa nguvu There is power. Kuna nguvu. The horn of my salvation. Pembe la wokovu wangu. Psalms first Samuel chapter 2 verse 1. Samuel wa kwanza mlango wa pili mstari wa 1. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 1. Samuel wa kwanza 22 mstari wa kwanza mlango wa pili mstari wa kwanza and Anna prayed and said who my heart in the lord who is he basically she saying you are my power wewe ndiye nguvu zangu hello the lord my what mungu ndiye nani he is my what ndiye ni power ndiye nguvu zangu my power is exalted zimeinuliwa in the lord ndani ya Mwenyezi Mungu hello i smile at my enemies ninatabasamu na adui zangu because i rejoice kwa sababu ninafurahi in your salvation katika wokovu wako yani wewe tu you know the power of salvation unaangalia adui unacheka tu za wokovu ati mtabu imekuja you are rejoicing unashangilia there is trouble kuna shida but you are the horn of salvation lakini unaependa una wokovu nguvu you laugh at it unacheka na ugonjwa <laughs> the horn of my salvation embe la wokovu wa mungu i want you guys to start moving in the word ninawaombeni muanze kusonga katika neno because the devil has made God's children ibilisi amewafanya wana wa Mwenyezi Mungu kutazamia mazingara na matukio ya maisha yao and not to know Bas, who God is ya kwamba Mungu ni nani and he is perfect na ukamilifu wake and he wants to make your ways na anataka kufanya njia zako zikakamilike praise the lord bwana asifiwe he is the high tower oh my yeye ndiye mnara ulio juu I using the surprises there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He is my what? High refuge. Yeye ndiye mnara ulio juu. The high tower. Kimbilio au mnara ulio This comes from a Hebrew word misgab. M I S G A B. Hili na neno la Kiebrania misgab. M I S G A B. Misgab. And it means inamaanisha he is the place yeye ndiye mahali. He is so high. Palipo juu sana. That you cannot be in danger. Ya kwamba huwezi kuwa hatarini. Hello? Hello. Misgab. Misgab. Signifies a place Ina isha, that is so high. Ina mahali ambapo pako juu zaidi. That you cannot zaidi, be in danger. Hadi huwezi kuwa kwenye hatari. Hello? Yaani when you told him when you call the Lord, my high tower. Wewe ambaye ni mnara wangu ulio juu. You are saying I am out of danger. Niko mbali na out of danger. Niko mbali na Hello. The Lord my high tower. Mungu mnara wangu I am out of Niko mbali na shida. Tunaambiwa 2 months to live. Unacheka tu. The Lord my high tower. Mungu mnara wangu ulio juu. That report is the doctors. Ripoti hiyo ni ya daktari. But the Lord my high tower. Lakini Mungu wangu mnara ulio juu. Niko of danger na hatari Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe Psalms 144 verse 2 Zaburi 144 mstari wa pili My loving kindness My fortress Ngome yangu 
Are you now seeing why King David was very wise? Je, muelewa kwa nini Mfalme Daudi alikuwa mwenye hekma nyingi? How many of you you would read this verse? Ngoni mwenye utasoma hapa. Ukwana isoma tu kawaida tu. Si ni kawaida tu. Now when you read it, you read it with understanding. Sasa unaisoma kwa ufafanuo. Praise the Lord. With what? Understanding. Unaisoma kwa ufahamu. My high He's saying I am Sema, out niko of danger kando na hatari God you are so high uko juu There is no danger that can come out of Hakuna me. hatari inayoweza kukaribiana na mimi Now remember I told you perfection is in three dimensions Kumbuka kwamba ukamilifu uko na viwango vitatu Ability to know who God Kwanza ni uwezo wa kumjua Mungu ni nani ability Tulichosoma ni kumjua tu uwezo wa To know who God uwezo wa kumjua Mungu. What is the thing? You said what? Bili lilikuwa lipi? The moral kukuwa na ujasiri. Moral ujasiri. To emulate ili kuweza kufuata God's admirable character. Tabia zenye kupendeza zake Mwenyezi Mungu. Nitawapatia homework. Because I want to go to the third one. Ningependa kuendea ya tatu. Because I can see my time is out. Kwa sababu naona muda wangu umeyoyoka. In our key text katika somo letu maalumu kumbukumbu la torati mlango wa saba verse 9 mstari wa tisa. we see god tunamuona mwenyezi mungu is now here me carefully if you are walking in perfection kama unatembea katika ukamilifu you will have the moral courage utakuwa na ujasiri wa kimaadili to emulate ili kuweza kufuatilia god's character hulka yake Mwenyezi Mungu it's not just character admirable character na sio tu hulka bali ile ambayo inapendeza which is this character hebu tuombe therefore je tabia yake ni ipi know that the lord your god ukajua kwamba Mungu wako kwa bwana wako now say easy when you read this verse are you are you reading it with a difference je ukisoma mstari huu unaosoma kwa ufunuo let me see that's that that first part say no therefore that the lord your god is god L L L L strong one mwenye nguvu mighty one mwenye uwezo the one who is omnipotent mwenye nguvu zote who sees all things anayeona mambo yote knows all things anayejua mambo yote performs all things anayetimiza mambo ya kila are you seeing why you should read the word with the revelation kwa nini mwaposa kusoma neno lake Mungu na ufunuo therefore know that the lord your god is god basi kwamba Mungu wenu that alone Kilo should make yake. you shut up ninapaswa kukufanya ukatetemeka now look at his character faith tabia zake muaminifu god is faithful mungu ni muaminifu let me just teach you time Naomba guys nikawafunze praise the lord tuko pamoja i will finish shortly praise the lord now the lord is what bwana ni nani faithful as a Mwaminifu character kama yake. so you must admire to be lazima upendelee kuwa nini emulate. lazima ufuate for you to be perfect you must also be what lazima ufanye nini faithful lazima ukuwe muaminifu i have a question today niko na swali siku ya leo can god trust you with something je mungu anaweza kukuamini na jambo lolote leo leo mungu akaseme nina kuinua na kupatia nguvu siku moja tu nguvu ya kutengeneza mali chochote tutaguza itakuwa mali what will you do tafanya nini i know there are guys who will travel to mount kenya and hold it ikuwe gold kuna watu ambao watasafiri mlima kenya ila kuiguza ikafanyike kuwa dhahabu but god is saying lakini bwana yosema can i trust you je naweza kukuamini with my power na nguvu zangu Because he is faithful. Kwa sababu yeye ni mwaminifu. Can you be faithful? Je, waweza kuwa mwaminifu? Now you say. Sasa, perfection. Ukamilifu. Moral courage. Ujasiri wa kimaadili. Ili kuweza kumfuata Mwenyezi Mungu. In his admirable character of Katika tabia zake za kupendeza. Faithfulness. Na kwa Can you be faithful? Ni mwaminifu. Je, unaweza kuwa mwaminifu? God. Hear me carefully. Mungu let's, naomba usikize. Second Thessalonians 3:3. Kitabu cha Thessalonike wa 2. I will come back here. Mstari wa 3. I'll come Mlango back here. Mstari wa 3. Nitarejelea. Hebu soma hiyo. 
What is the Lord doing? What does he do to those who are faithful? What will he do? What will he do? What will he do? And then do what else? Kisha akafanya nini kingine? Yani by you just emulating Kwa God. Kwako kumfuatilia Mwenyezi Mungu. As a faithful God. Kama Mungu mwaminifu. He says Anasema, I will establish you. I will guard you from the evil one. Nitakulinda kutokana na yule muovu. Alafu maombi yako ni gani? Oh Mungu ni inue. Na Mungu anasema hivi. Just admire. Emulate my character. Pendelezoa na kisha uifuate. Be like me, your God. Kuwa kama mimi Mungu. Be faithful. Kuwa mwaminifu. Are we faithful? Jesus ni waminifu. The great commission. Katika mwito ule maalum. Hello? Hello. Are we faithful? To the Jesus great commission. Jesus ni waminifu katika mwito ambao ni mkuu. Are we faithful to prayer? Jesus ni waminifu kwa maombi. Are we faithful to the word? Jesus ni waminifu kwa neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu. I wish this was a conference. Nina. Tamani hii ingekuwa. Because today I came back to my neighbor. This is 30%. So, ambie jirani hii ni 30%. Praise the Lord. But we need to finish because of time. Tunahitaji kumalizia kwa ajili ya muda. Character of what of faithful. Tabia ya waminifu. He says, I will if you are faithful to God. What is God doing? Anasema kama wewe ni mwaminifu kwake Mwenyezi Mungu atafanya nini? He establishes. Atakuimarisha. And what does he do? Kisha atafanya nini kingine? He will guard you. Atakulinda from who? Kutokana na nani? yule muovu. Yaani wewe tu Mungu tu akupatie kipawa. Sasa utakuwa kila mahali. Hii Sunday uko kwa hii kanisa. Kesho uko kwa ile kanisa nyingine. Nyingine uko kwingine. Can you be faithful? Je, unaweza kuaminika? Some of you who are married. Wengine wenyu. If the Lord gave you 3 million now. Kama Mungu angewapa milioni tatu sasa hivi je ungekaa kwenye ndoa ile? Hata huyo mzee amekuwa akinisumbua sana. Hata yeye atajua. Atajua mimi ni nani. Na unaenda. Watoto wangu kwenye ni twende. 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 3 million peke yake. Milioni tatu peke yake. Well God is saying. Wakati Mungu anasema if you are faithful. Kama wewe ni mwaminifu. I will establish. Nitakuimarisha. The word established and anyway, we don't want to go there. Neno kuimarisha hatutaki kuliingililia kwa sasa. Let's keep where we are. Tukae mahali tulipo. Soft time go look at the, at the Greek meaning of established. Kama uko na muda uende ukaangalie neno hilo katika tafsiri la Kigiriki. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Yaani Mungu, yaani wewe tu Mungu akupatie 10 million. Mungu akupe milioni 10. Sasa you sasa, know, you know, if God gives you 10 million. Mungu akikupa milioni 10. Chungaji. He says type. Hatu wengine inayofuata ni kutoa fungu la 10 ndivyo alivyosema. What next? Kisha. So help me God. Mungu nisaidie. <laughs> Some of you if God entrusts you with just Wengine wenyu kama Mungu angewaamini na shilingi. Au tuandikane kanisani. Utachana na mzee? Utachana na bibi? Utaepa. But God is saying. Lakini Mungu yuasema. What I have given you. Jua nimekupa. Be faithful kuwa mwaminifu if you are faithful like me your god kama wewe ni mwaminifu kama mimi mungu wako i will wako. establish you nitakuimarisha and i will guard you na nitakulinda from the evil one kutokana na yule muovu are you seeing the power of the word now i'll give you other characters of god i'm not, i'll not go now the neighbor neighbor i will go now the other characters Sigilida of god that you need to emulate tabia nyingine ya Mungu ambayo unapaswa kuwa ni kwamba ni Mungu anayeweka maagano. So keep covenant with God. Basi mkaweke maagano yenu naye Mwenyezi Mungu. He's a merciful God. Ni Mungu mwenye rehema. So even you show mercy. Basi wewe ukawarehemu mwenzio. He's a God of all comfort. Ni Mungu mwenye utulivu. So even you. Basi nawe pia. Give comfort to those who are mourning. Ukawape wanaopumzika wakaweza kukuwa na is a god of all oh, is a god full of wisdom mungu mwenye hekima so even you basi nawe as you operate unapozidi kutembea in wisdom utembee kwa hekima he is a god who loves righteousness mungu anayependa utakatifu a god who loves hate righteousness mungu anayependa utakatifu a god who hates wickedness anayechukia uovu a god who hates lawlessness anayechukia kuvunja so what sharia. must you do 
Unapaswa kufanya nini? Love righteousness like him. Ukapende utakatifu. Hate wickedness like him. Ukachukie maovu kama yeye. Hate lawlessness like him. Uchukie uvunjaji wa sheria kama yeye. He's God. Who does not forsake those who seek him? Ambaye yeye hawaachi wanaomtegemea. Hello? God who does not yeye ni Mungu wa hawaachi wanaomtafuta. He's a God who does wondrous things. Yeye ni Mungu anayetenda maajabu. Even you shall do wonders. Hata nao utatenda maajabu. You'll be a wonder on earth. Utakuwa mtu wa maajabu huko duniani. He is a holy God. Yeye ni Mungu mtakatifu. <laughs> holy God. Mungu mtakatifu. The Lord of hosts. Mungu wa majeshi. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Dunia yote imejawa na utukufu wake. So wherever you walk, basi popote unapotembea. Because you represent God. Kwa sababu unamwakilisha Mwenyezi Mungu. The glory of God will shine. Utukufu wa Mungu utaanza. Wherever wherever you go, unapotembea, they see God's power. Wanaona nguvu za Mwenyezi Mungu. Illuminating out of it. Ukiangaza kutoka ndani yako. Now finally, I want to close. Hatimaye nataka kumalizia na. Next Sunday I want us to go to spiritual completeness. Wasani say, continue, continue. Ataki kufanya hiyo. <laughs> Now, so remember perfection, ability to know who God, ukamilifu ni uwezo wa kujua Mungu. And to have the moral courage, kuwa na ujasiri wa kimaadili wa kufanya nini? Emulate wa kufuatilia. God's admirable character. Na tumesema yote, si ndio? Tabia za Mwenyezi Mungu zinazopendeza. I, I have only gone deeper with one. Nimeingilia tu kwa ndani. Because we don't have time to touch on the others. Moja tu, hatukua na muda wa kusoma mara nyingine. Ndio? Na twende number three. That twende now shows perfection. Kipengee cha tatu ambayo kinaelekeza. Is, you strive ni kwamba unangangana. That your personal life ili maisha yako ya kibinafsi may have integrity. Yawe na uadilifu. That shows that that show that you follow his ways kwa kuonyeshana kwamba unafuata njia zake or by following his ways au kwa kufuatilia njia zake sasa hii hii nataka musikie vizuri praise the lord are you ready for this one was this one i want to finish here je mko tayari kwa sababu ningependa kutamatishia mahali hapa and then i'll tell you what jesus said about perfection kisha niwaambie kile ambacho yesu alisema kuhusu ukamili are we ready je tuko tayari are we ready tuko tayari Now hear me carefully. Naomba mnisikize. Anytime we are talking about personal integrity wakati wote tunapozungumzia uadilifu wa kibinafsi unapofuata katika hatua za Mwenyezi Mungu. We are looking at two things. Tunaangalia mambo mawili. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. We are looking at two things. Tunaangalia mambo mawili. Now the Sasa. Lord wants you to have a perfect heart. Bwana angependelea uwe na moyo ambao ni mkamilifu. Perfect heart, moyo mkamilifu. That means what? Nikumaanisha nini? Because for you to strive, kwa sababu ili wewe uweze kungangana. For you to strive, ili uweze kungangania. To have personal integrity, uadilifu wa kibinafsi. By following his ways. Kwa kufuata katika hatua zake. Hear me carefully on this one. Naomba mnisikize makini na hii. Perfect heart moyo mkamilifu means that you can sense unamaanisha kwamba unaweza the heartbeat of god kujua concerning your life moyo wa Mwenyezi Mungu kuhusu maisha yako how many are is that is that singles there is there bio who has ever married huko wana ndoa mpo wakati ukilalia mzee hapa kwa chest unasinga nje Unasenga hiyo? Eh? Oh, niwaulize. Unasenga aje? Hiyo kutu. Kutu. Now what we are saying here? Perfect heart. Moyo ambao ni mkamilifu. That you can sense. Ambao unaweza kuhisi. The heartbeat of God. Ndundo wa mo, wa moyo wa Mungu. Concerning your life. Kuhusiana na maisha yako that you can sense his will ya kwamba una concerning your life hisi mapenzi yake kuhusiana na maisha yako now this means what hii ni kumaanisha nini number one. kwanza you will give no room for the deeds of darkness hautayapa matendo ya uovu nafasi yoyote you will give no room hautayapa for the deeds of darkness matendo ya gizani Now you underline vizuri. Now wake hata kani bold if you are typing. 
perfect heart moyo ambao ni mkamilifu ambao unaweza kuhisi mdundo wa Mwenyezi Mungu kuhusiana na maisha yako kumaanisha unajua kwa mapenzi yake I was telling someone yesterday Mimi I stopped living my life I live for him Niliacha kuyaishi maisha yangu kibinafsi naishi kwa ajili yake I am on earth not to, to make money sio kwa sababu ya kupata pesa nyingi I'm on earth not to to be seen Siko humu duniani ili kuonekana I am on earth niko humu duniani kwa ajili ya kutimiza mapenzi yake humu duniani that is that perfect heart huo ndio moyo ambao ni mkamilifu and to achieve that perfect heart na ili kutimiza moyo huo mkamilifu you give no room for the deeds of darkness matendo ya uovu yule mtu ambaye anakuacha ulale hapa ni mtu ambaye anaenda ku trust ni kweli Can you allow anyone to sleep on your chest up? And as you go do 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 do. There are some hearts that beat do do. For English do do do. And those are do do one do. For you to feel ili uweze kuhisi. No one will allow you into into, into that. Sio mtu yote atakuruhusu mali. Now God is saying Mungu yosema I want to allow you nataka kukuruhusu uweze kupata moyo huu. I want you to sense nataka ukaweza kuhisi mdundo wa moyo wangu my will in your life mapenzi yangu juu ya maisha yako i am as you get deeper with me unapozidi kuingia ndani zaidi nami asema bwana i am bringing you closer to my heart inakuleta karibu na mdundo wa moyo wangu to know my will ujue mapenzi yangu but then there's a condition lakini pia kuna masharti there is no room hakuna nafasi for the deeds ya matendo of darkness ya uovu number 2 pili that perfect heart that helps you to work huo mkamilifu that's integrity ambao unakuwa na uadilifu wa kibinafsi kwa kufuata hatua zake so we said first one as we said first one no don't do things of darkness number 2 hakuna nafasi you will be wholly devoted utakuwa umejitolea mpaka kwa ajili ya Mwenyezi Mungu. You will be holy. Utakuwa umejitolea. In ile WH Unajua hiyo? Hol. Holy. Not hol ile ya holy. Yaani everything. WH O L Y. You will be holy. Utakuwa umejitolea. Devoted mhanga to God. Kwake Mwenyezi Mungu. You cease to exist unaacha he takes charge kuonekana yeye anachukua hatamu tuko pamoja hey i'm not saying they are still going deeper with god wangapi wanasema tunazidi kuzama naye mwenyezi mungu holy umejitolea devoted kwa to god hey holy umejitolea devoted mkanga kwake Mwenyezi Mungu God Mungu El El Strong one Mwenye nguvu Almighty Mwenye nguvu Omnipotent Mwenye uwezo The one who knows Anayejua all yoke. things sees all Anaona things mambo yote performs anatenda all mambo things. yote What are you doing Holy Anajitolea Devoted to him kabisa that finally la tatu ninapotamati loyal to him kukua mwaminifu loyal to him kukua yule ambaye ni mwaminifu kwake hello kuna watu hawajui meaning of what kafanya ni spell it well l l l for leg l o Y A L not ro yol but lo yol We must be loyal lazima tukakuwa to him wale ambao ni waaminifu kwake Hello How many of us are we even loyal to our friends Wangapi sisi ni waaminifu hata kwa rafiki zetu? I, I, I won't ask you, 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 you. 
Unajijua. Ndio? Some of us we struggle with being loyal even to our own children. Mtoto anakuambia baba, nimeniekea hii pesa. I want to save safe kidogo ni nirudi shule. Wewe baba unaweka kwa mfuko. Unakula tu. Unakula tu. Sasa mimi ni msimini nilikuzaa. Mimi nilikuzaa. Nilikuleta kwa hii dunia. Wewe fanya kazi unletee yangu. Where is the place of loyalty? Mahali Because a perfect heart. Kwa waminifu kwa 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 sababu moyo ambao ni mkamilifu. That is a sign of personal integrity by Mbao following the ways of God which is a fulfillment of perfection showing that you have kamilifu. gone deeper with God loyal let me tell you some of you are here some years to come God will raise you miaka ijayo Mungu atawainua tutakutuma kama ni Karoma Indo kama ni Karakado Bangi kama ni Korokocho kama ni Nyandarwa wende wende ukwe sinya pasta huko will you be loyal to God Je, utakuwa mwaminifu Will you be loyal to the call? Utakuwa mwaminifu kwa mwito. Making Jesus known. Fanya Yesu akajulikane. Not making yourself Sio known. Kujifanya ujulikane. Time will tell. Muda utatueleza. But I have taught the word. Lakini mwafunza neno. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Time will do it. M- muda utatueleza. Can you be loyal? Je, waweza kuwa mwaminifu? Even to your own spouse. Hata kwa mkeo au mmeo. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Can you be loyal to your friends? Je, unaweza kuwa mwaminifu kwa rafiki zako? Can you be loyal to your employer? Unaweza kuwa mwaminifu kwa mwajiri wako? I had a jua. Mwaka mia tano. Part of why here in the ministry I have put some strict process katika huduma hii nimeweka mikakati mimi mambo ya kununua vitu na pesa hiyo nilisema na kupatia card enda ipigwe nini the wipe leta nini na kupatia 500 enda nunue maybe maziwa wewe unasema hii ni kanisa maziwa mbili yangu tatu ya kanisa tapeka maziwa mingi tutaweka maji mingi tachotea watu wapi risiti hakuna risiti kuna lakini unajua hiyo maziwa inaenda wapi sitaje hiyo maziwa tunapelekea hajana mbia kunywea i know this one you'll be silent Ajua hili mtalinyamazia. That is the place of loyalty. Lakini hapo ndipo mahali pa uwajibikaji. Hello. Hello. Some of you here. Wengine wenyewe. God is going to raise you. Mungu atawainua. You'll be great ministers and in this ministry. Wa hudumu wa kuu katika huduma. You'll be preaching powerful with anointing. Utahubiri kwa nguvu nyingi. Will you be loyal to the vision? Kwa uwajibikaji katika maono haya. Or will you make your own kingdom? Au mtafanya falme zenyu. Finally because now I'm finished I said I said this is now finally nikitamatisha Let's finish with Matthew tukamalizie na Mathayo 1921 mlango wa 19 mstari wa 21 So next Sunday pasan now part, three, part five spiritual sehemu ya tano completeness utimilifu wa kiroho which is also a part of going deeper with ambayo ni sehemu bado ya kuzama naye Mwenyezi Mungu Ah, abu tusome. Ebu tusome pamoja. Wait, wait. How many want to be perfect? Kwa ngapi wangependa kuwa? Hebu soma hii tena. Yes, wakasema. Now hear me carefully. I know some of you might misquote this scripture. Watu wengine wanaweza kutafsiri mstari huu kwa njia isiyofaa. I want to give you context. Ambia neba context. Ninapenda kuelezea maudhui. How many are saying they we want to go deeper with God in perfection? Ngapi wangependa kuzama? Hebu soma tena hii scripture. Mwenyezi Mungu tusome tena. Aha.
Now hear me carefully. What now Jesus meant here is this. Yesu alimaanisha hivi. Renounce the world. Mkaikane ulimwengu. When he says sell what you have it means what, whatever you have ulicho nacho chochote ulicho nacho Where is it? Kiko wapi? It is in the world. Kiko humu. What he is saying? Renounce anasema ukane the world ulimwengu and its pleasures na anasa because kwa sababu we all love the things of the world eh hey, don't we love kibini. the things in the world si tunayapenda mambo ya magari mzuri si ndio gani ngine nyumba mzuri nguo maridadi eh hey, tuseme unajua kama ni wanaume wanataka hata madama kuna sikwembe mzuri si ni kweli ehe Ladies what do you want? Kaza makawe. Told that and that's some. With the eh money. Six pack. Now Jesus is saying, Yesu anasema, I know that you love the world. Ninajua mnaupenda ulimwengu. But what Jesus is saying? Lakini kile ambacho Yesu anasema, Renounce the world. Ulimwengu. That gives you perfection. Hiyo inakupa ukamilifu. It secondly says this. Pili anasema hivi. Renounce. Mkaweza kukana your legal righteousness. Utakatifu wako wa kihalali. Renounce. Mkaukane your legal righteousness. Utakatifu wako wa kihalali. Which you trust in. Ambao unauaminia. Kila mtu ako na righteousness yake, si kweli? Eh, tuongee tuseme kweli. Ndio. You believe you are very righteous eh? Naamini hey. kwamba wewe wewe ni mwenye haki. Sasa hizi tu mtu mshirika ambaye anajulikana aanguke. Ah, tatujua huyu hakuna kitu. Eh. Hey. You are legally righteous eh? He saying renounce it. Anasema ukakane. Jesus came with grace. Yesu akaja na neema. And mass na rehema. He shows his grace. Anaonyesha neema yake. Akianguka usimwache anguke chini muinue That is real perfection. Huo ndio ukamilifu wa kiasili. Don't kill your brother who is down. Usimuue ndugu yako aliye chini. Ati juu sasa yeye alikuwa anaimba vizuri. Baada alikuwa anasimama pale ana dance anafanya. Eh huyo kamianguka tukanyage Jesus is saying Yesu anasema renounce mkaukane your legal uhalali righteousness that you trust in wa haki yako show my mercy onyeshana show my grace zangu onyeshana neema yangu reveal my truth to them onyeshana ukweli wangu kwa watu hao praise the lord bwana asifiwe and then Jesus saying this Yesu akasema hivi give to the poor mkaoape maskini That's why in, as a church we began the hands of compassion. Ndipo sisi kama kanisa tulianza mikono ya But the one day siku moja we will be releasing malori zetu tutakuwa tunayachimia with food stuffs taking to the places that need chakula ya kipelekea watu wenye that need food watu wanaohitaji vyakula. And there will be plenty in the house of God. Na na wingi katika nyumba ya Mungu. Na hizo malori zenda nyinyi hapo hapa. Na haya cha endesho na walio hapa. Aya Who will be the transport manager? Atakuwa tu hapa tu. Nani atakuwa msimamizi wa safari? Who will be supplying these things? Si ni hapa tu. Nani atakuwa kituleta hivi? Wewe wewe ume, ume, ume make up supply, tunanua kwako, tunaweka kwa 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 lorry. Wewe ambao kwa driver unachukua mnaenda wapi? Mission. You go to a place in a mission. You Nenda preach the hali. gospel. Nahubiri injili. Give to the poor. Nawapa wanyo. Establish the church. Naimarisha kanisa. Preach Jesus. Nahubiri bwana Yesu. Make Jesus known. Nafanya Yesu akasikane. As you become loyal to him. Nabozidi kufanyika mwenye kuwajibika mbele zake. Praise the Lord. You know today I'm pouring my heart. Siku ya leo ninaumimina moyo wangu. Praise the Lord. We are a prophetic church. Sisi ni kanisa la kiunabii. We fulfill scriptures. Tunatimiza maandiko. 
we become the fulfillment of scripture tunafanyika kutekeleza utekelezaji wa neno la Mwenyezi Mungu hello we fulfill tunatimiza maandiko and we become what tunafanyika nini the fulfillment kutimia of scriptures kwa maandiko so I want to tell you ambia neba 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 naomba kuambia muombe jirani expand your eyes aweze kuyapanua expand your vision okay apanue maono finally yake. what jesus told him la mwisho ambalo yesu aliwaambia follow me nifuate follow me nifuate i have decided to follow jesus and i have decided to follow jesus i have decided to follow to follow jesus no turning back no turning back no turning back i have decided funky feeling Decided to follow Jesus to follow Jesus no turning no turning back no turning back i have this i have decided to follow come on declare i have decided i have decided Jesus gave us four areas of perfection. Yesu akatupa maeneo manne ya ukamilifu. Renouncing the world. Kuukana ulimwengu. Renouncing our legal righteousness. Kuukana uhalali wa utakatifu wetu. Giving to the poor. Kuwapa maskini and following him. Na kumfuata yeye. Tell him Lord Jesus. Mwambie Bwana Yesu. I want to follow you. Nataka kukufuata. I want to be like you. Nataka kuwa kama wewe. Teach me Lord. Nifunze Bwana. To walk in perfection. Kutembea kwa ukamilifu. Tell him Jesus. Mwambie Yesu. Give me the ability. Nipe uwezo. To know you as God. Wa kukujua kama mwenyezi Mungu. Tell him Lord. Mwambie Bwana. Give me the moral courage. Nipe ujasiri wa kimaadili. Lord to emulate you. Wa kuweza kufuata hatua zako. You are admirable character. Tabia zako zenye Tell him Lord. Mwambie Bwana, I strive today. Ninangangana siku ya leo. To walk in personal integrity. Kuweza kutembea kwa uadilifu wa kibinafsi. By following you. Kwa kukufuata wewe. Following your ways. Kufuata hatua zako. Following your purposes. Kufuata Come on child of God. Lift up your voice. Inua sauti yako. And pray. Na uombe. Lift up your voice. Inua sauti yako. And pray. Na ukaombe. Lift up your voice. Inua sauti yako. And pray. 
Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Zabranama Ambreza. Jeneme ega branama angranama zarabrine granara bresh. Zagaranama ambrinama zarabreka nama resh. Reganama rabriga nama zarabrine. Zorabroka nama zaragranama andrebarine telebe. Lord, we want to go deeper. Tell him Jesus. I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper. Deeper in maturity. Deeper in perfection. Come on, child of God. Tell him, Lord, I want to go deeper. 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 Are you here? Where are you going? You are not born again. You are saying, man of God, I want, I want to give my life to Jesus. Are you here? Because the first step is knowing Jesus. Is our perfection. Our perfection. Are you here? You are not born again. Saying, man of God, I want to know Jesus. Are you here? If you are born again, just lift your hands. I see. Father, I thank you. And I bless you for every man and woman raising their voices. Raising their hands. I pray, Jehovah, Lord, today, release upon them Release upon them. Release upon them. Lord, the ability to know who you are. You are El, El. God Almighty, the Deliverer, our fortress, our God, our rock, Lord, our buckler, the horn of salvation, the high tower. Lord, today we shall emulate your faithfulness, your love, your mercy, your jealous God. Lord Almighty, we will not do things that will show disrespect to you, O God. I pray, Father, our personal lives will walk in integrity and we shall follow your ways with a perfect heart. No room for the deeds of darkness. No room for the deeds of darkness in the lives of your father. Lord, they will be wholly devoted to you and they will be loyal to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for right now we denounce everything of the world that we love so much. We denounce our legal righteousness that we trust in so much. Lord, we shall give to the poor. And Lord Jesus, we shall follow you all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name, declare a big amen. Declare a big amen. Sema amina. Come on, declare a big amen. Sema amina. And give the Lord a mighty praise. Come on, give the praise.